The prophet was told to make bread and barley cakes. And cakes. Listen at this. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 4. I want to teach you real good. Amen. All right, son. Ezekiel, chapter 4. We're going to start reading at verse 10. Yes. And thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight, 20 shekels a day. Yes. From time to time thou shalt eat it. Thou shalt also... It's not like these false prophets today. Mm -mm. One false prophet in Africa shook the people like he had so much anointing and deceived the people and have our African brothers and sisters running out of the church getting on their knees eating grass like an animal. That's Lord. the devil out of hell. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Listen at this. And thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight 20 shekels a day. Yes. From time to time thou shalt eat it. Thou shalt also water by measure the sixth part of an hen. Yes. From time to time shalt thou drink. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. Thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. And thou shalt bake it with dung. You shall bake it with dung. That cometh out of man in their sight. You know, dung also is a source of fuel. That's right. You can put it in the fire so it can burn. That's right. Dung that comes in the present comes from the past. For it consists of everything that was digested from the past. That's right. When it comes to the present, yeah. you want to get rid of it quick as possible. <laughs> Glory to God. You hate if it get on your shoes. That's right. Many of us. Amen. Amen. It's still holding on to the dung of our past. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? That's right. And there's so much of it, some been cleaned off. Yeah. But there's a lot of it that's lingering in mind. Where in time past. Glory to God. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and at verse 2. Well. In time past. In time past. Ye walked according to the course of this world. You see, in the past, the course of this world was filth. That's right. Thank God that which is unclean. That's right. And it had a stench oh, yes. in the nostrils of God, but it did not have a stench in the nostrils of men. That's right. That's why the Bible says, she that live in pleasure is dead while she lives. While she lives. You know, even if a body dies, it's amazing how it still can pass down. That's right. Because what's in it come out. That's right. God Almighty want to clean up the dung in your soul. Amen. He said to the apostles, you're clean through the word. Which I've spoken unto you. Glory to God that I speak unto you. That's right. So everybody, and one thing about dung, dung they have a bad smell. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? That's right. What did he say? Where in time past you walk according to the courts of this world? Did your past become your present? That's right. Get me. Is your past your present? Amen. And is your past your future? Mm. Amen. If you're in cleanup mode, Thank God, and everybody should be in cleanup mode. That's right. The cleaner I am, the more incense, prayers, glory to God, I can offer up towards God. That's right. 
The dirtier I am, the greater my struggle oh, yes. is to get this filth out of my system. Right. The dung that you're fighting with is inside and out. That's right. It is not just your deeds. That's right. It's a spirit. That's right. That's why the Bible talks about an unclean spirit. Unclean spirit. When the spirit resides in the man and resides in the woman and its spirit is dirty. That's right. The actions of that man and woman is also equal to the spirit that is in it. That's right. Are you listening? That's why God dwells. That's right. Glory to God in the thick darkness. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 2. Hear this. All the ways of a man are clean. All the ways are clean. How? In his own eyes. All the ways of a man. So men and women say, I don't see nothing wrong with me. You're right. That's right. I don't need no correction. I don't need no reproof. Reproof. I don't need no rebuke. I don't see what I'm doing wrong. That's right. And when someone come and tell that dirty brother and that dirty sister about their dung stinking behavior. Amen. Amen. When clean words clean are spoken. Words. The dirty rise up. He that refuseth instruction. Glory to God, glory to God. Do you hear this? In the book of Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 32. He that reject, refuse instructions. Despiseth his own soul. Amen. You get instructions from the word of God for the salvation of your soul. That's right. But when you reject instructions, That's hate right. Instructions. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Despiseth his own soul. You don't love your soul. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. God's work is for the cleansing, cleansing, cleansing of the soul. That's right. So if you hate the instructions that come from the word, Amen. You jeopardize your soul. That's right. And you hinder self from being saved. That's right. Like many of you tarry for the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The Bible plainly says he gives the Holy Ghost to those that obey him. They obey him. I want this to be good for my brothers that minister. Mm -hmm. Because when we minister, never minister the new birth. Focusing on baptism only. That's right. Because if you preach baptism only, you're not preaching the new birth. New birth. That's right. In the natural, the baby is not just being formed in water. It's not just alive in water. But there's a spirit in there. That's right. If a spirit is not in that body of the woman, that woman cannot feel the child kicking. That's right. It is written, the body without the spirit is dead. It's dead. Huh? That's right. And if the body without the spirit is dead, that get the natural and the spiritual. So a child is still born. Still born. Because it had no breath, it had no spirit, a woman suffers a miscarrying womb. That's right. When you don't have the spirit of God, go over to God. Even though you repent of your sins yes. and baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. the only thing you can do is live a righteous life, but you can't live a holy life. That's right. When someone has the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, they can live a holy life and a righteous life. That's right. Because they fulfill both categories. 
holy and righteous. That's right. If I don't have the Holy Ghost, I'm just righteous. Just righteous. And I'm forced or rather asked to live by a holy law. That's right. Are you listening? In the book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 32. Says what? And we are his witnesses of these things. We are! His witnesses. No, to God, his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost. So also is the Holy Ghost. Whom God hath given to them. Whom God hath given to them. That obey him. Let's have a chat today. Amen. You testify, saints, pray for me. Yes. Did I receive the Holy Ghost? Amen. Over and over and over again. Yeah. You desire the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. It's a gift. You can't get it. That's right. Gifts. Gifts are given. Given. The word of God says, Every good gift, every perfect gift come from above, above, come down from the Father of lights, meaning the Father of direction, meaning the Father of guidance. That's right. Of whom there is no veritable, no shadow of turning. So That's the right. Holy Ghost don't belong to no man to give. No. Because they come from above. God gave them the light gift. What? God gave them the light gift. Do you hear this? In the book of Acts chapter 11 and verse 17. God gave them the light gift. As he did unto us. Now. If brothers that minister just preach repentance That's right. and baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and not receiving the Holy Ghost. That's right. Together. That's right. That's new birth. That, that's right. Are you listening? That's right. Water and spirit. Jesus. That's new birth. That's right. Jesus said. St. John chapter 3 and verse 5. Verily, verily I say unto thee. Verily I say to you. Except a man. Except a man. Be born of water. Be born of water. And of and the spirit, spirit. He cannot enter he into the kingdom of God. Enter. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Marvel not what I say unto you. You must you be. You must be born, born again. Again. Born water. Again. Water and spirit. spirit. What does water do for the child in the womb of the woman? It protects the child. And that's why the woman in the water, the sack, have to break. And in some cases, her sack don't break, so the doctors break it. That's right. Otherwise than that, child is in there. That's right. Like clay being created by the hands of a potter. For when the body is fashioned. When, listen, glory to God. In the book of 2nd Esther, chapter 8 and at verse 8. When the body is fashioned. Now in the mother's womb. Created. In thy mother's womb. And thou givest it members. And you give it members. Thy creature is preserved. Thy creature is preserved. In fire. Hallelujah. You see, woman, you have fire in you. When that's you're right. pregnant, there's fire in fire. you. That's right. And the fire is God, spirit, that which give life. That's and right. And the child is being formed in fire. That's right. Not talking about the Holy Ghost, but it's talking about the presence of God as breath. That's right. Power. Power. Giver of life. That's right. Are you listening? For when the body is fashioned now in the mother's womb. When the body is fashioned in the mother's womb. And thou givest it members. And you give it members. Thy creature is preserved in fire. Thine creature is preserved. Who, in, walk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Who walks around right. now in fire and talk about they preserve? Amen. You go get in fire, you'll be burnt to pieces. That's right. But now God preserve you while you're in the womb. That's right. In fire. Thy creature is preserved in fire. Yes. And water. He's preserved where? Thy creature is preserved in fire. Fire. And water. And water. Now. It's talking about the birth, the birth of a child. That's right. Fire, 
and water. And water. That's right. That's why Jesus used the term be born again born because again. you came right. from fire and, and water. water. That's right. And now he's going back and get those same elements, That's but right. only in the spirit. That's right. Think of it. Glory to God. That's right. In order for the woman to conceive, seed is discharged from the man. That seed carried the characteristics of the man, and the seed within the woman that's protected by a wall carried the characteristics of the woman. But when a child is formed, the child has some characteristics of both. both. That's right. Fire is there, yeah. water is there. That's right. In the spirit, seed is discharged from the mouth of the preacher. For the scripture says the seed is the word. the word. And you must be spiritually pregnant. Glory to God. Until Paul said, till Christ is formed, formed in, in you. you. Formed in you. So you have to carry the spirit of Christ, which is the fire, the word, the seed. And God used those same elements, water. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why tarriest thou? Arise, Arise. And be baptized. Washing That's away right. thy sins. That's right. Calling upon the name of the Lord. That's right. One came after me who shall baptize you. That's right. With the Holy Ghost. That's right. And that with, with fire. 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 Amen. Are Wonderful. you listening? Wonderful. New birth. New birth. So when you minister, brothers, and somebody come and want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, that's good. But never present new birth where you make water present and spirit far. That's right. Never that's right. preach new birth. You can get the water now, but you can't get the spirit now. Right. You can give the spirit now if you believe. That's right. For the book says, nigh thee. Nigh thee. Nigh thee. At thy mouth. That's right. And at thine heart. And thy heart. Oh, we'll take God. That's right. Where's the faith? Which we preach. Which we preach. That's right. You see, in some cases, people wonder why some people come out the water speaking in tongues. Or why some people who haven't been here long receive the Holy Ghost so fast. Everything is still new to them. They don't have a lot to hold on to. That's right. So the moment they repent of their sins, they are so open and That's ready right. for the Holy Ghost. Amen. They're open. Now do you give them talking? That's right. Versus someone who's been exposed to the word of righteousness and now they're struggling with this, struggling with that, struggling with the other. Right. You have more to give up. That's right. And the more you learn, right. glory to God, about God's way, yeah. the more you have to pull off, stop doing, come up, and lay aside. That's right. So when we preach the new birth, yes, that's right. repent and be baptized every one of you, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall, shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Don't look at the Holy Ghost right away for next day. Right. Look at it right now. That's right. That's right. In fact, you should be looking at it before you baptize. That's right. While Peter speak the word. That's right. Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Yeah, the Holy Ghost. Tell on all of them. Tell on all of them. Which heard the word. That heard the word. That's right. They had no baptism. Amen. Thank God, but their heart was acceptive to God's word. That's right. Holy Ghost fell on all of them that heard it. 
had heard it. Thank God they of the circumcision, of the circumcision which, believed were astonished. which believed they were amazed that this happened. As many as came with Peter. Many of them that accompanied Peter because on other ethnic groups, the Gentiles, was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? Was poured out the How gift. How did they know it? For they heard them speak with tongues. And what else they do? And magnify God. They got glad. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. That's right. Magnify God. When you repent of your sins. That's it. Yes. And go down in water in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right. Don't get the attitude of sitting back. No. With the mindset, waiting for the Holy Ghost, waiting for the Holy Ghost, waiting for the Holy Ghost. No. Look for it then. Yes. Now. Now. And if it don't come then and now, keep the sin and now in your mind. That's right. And in your heart. That's right. Never put God afar off. That's right. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Stop pushing God so far. That's right. He fulfills heaven and earth. That's right. So don't ever sit back. Well, I'll wait and see the Holy Ghost next year. Or oh, I'll wait to see the Holy Ghost next month. Amen. You're setting yourself up yeah. to be so complacent. Right. But what saith it? What you say? In the book of Romans, chapter 10, and at verse 8. Glory to God. But what saith it? What? The word is nigh thee. What? The word is nigh thee. The word is nigh thee. Right even, there. Even in thy mouth. Where is it? In thy mouth. It's in your mouth. And. And. In thy heart. In your heart. That is the word. The word. Of, Glory to God. Glory to God. Word of faith. Glory to God Hallelujah. that we preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In order for them to receive the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. while Peter was preaching, Hallelujah. they believed Hallelujah. the word that he preached. That's right. Hallelujah. They believed it. Hallelujah. They weren't sitting around just saying amen. No, no. Their heart going to God. That's right. It's open. That's right. Their heart was open. That's it. Hallelujah. You don't sit around Hallelujah. just saying amen. Go ahead, man. Open up your heart. That's right. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Open up your mind. That's it. Yeah. Go ahead. That's good to come in there. That's right. The word is nigh thee. Do you hear the word talking? But what saith it? What you say? The word is nigh the thee. The word is nigh thee. Is right there. Even in thy mouth. The word is God. That's right. God saying I'm right there. The word is nigh thee. It's close. That's right. Right there. That's right. At your mouth. And in At thy your heart. heart. Yeah. The word it's of right faith. There. Which we preach. Hallelujah. That's it. I said it right there. That's it. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stop pushing God. Go ahead, man. So far. Hallelujah. If I don't receive it today. Hallelujah. Don't push it off so far. That's right. The word is nigh. Dude. Come on back to my. That's right. If I don't receive it tomorrow, that's right. Don't push it off so far. Amen. Come on back. That's it. Come on back tomorrow. The word is not yeah, thee. But believe it. Go ahead. The thing that make me call on God, I believe it. That's it. If I didn't believe, I wouldn't talk to him. That's right. That's right. What say it? Your heart. Go ahead. Man. And your mind. Go ahead, yes. brother. Have to connect. That's it. With God's word. That's it. That's right. Hallelujah. He gives the Holy Ghost to those that obey him. That obey him. Yes. Amen. What are you doing? Go ahead. That keep God from personalizing That's right. this gift for you. 
right. What are you doing? Go ahead. He gave the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost to them that obey him. To them yes, sir. that obey him. Someone said, if that's the case, Pastor Dennis, why a person receive it in the holy in the false church? They believe it. They believe it. Someone said, well, I thought you had to be right to receive the Holy Ghost. And no, no, no. The Holy Ghost come to make you right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. They come to make you right. These signs shall follow them. These signs shall follow them that what? That believe. What? These signs shall follow them that believe. What I got to do? Believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I may not be right, but I believe. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I may not be right, but okay. I believe. These signs shall follow them that believe. That's what God wants. That's right. That's right. That's what God wants. That's it. He that comes to God must, right. must believe. Must believe. You must do it. That's right. If you don't believe, you're going through the motions. Yeah. Yes, the Bible says that which is not of faith sin. is sin. It's sin. It's a sin not to believe God. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask God Go ahead, man. to increase your faith. Right. Doubting nothing. That's right. These signs. These signs shall follow them that believe. Believer. Believer. A believe. believer. Believe. That's it. That's I it. may be a Baptist, but I believe, believe what Jesus said. That's right. That's something. Not right. Wrong religion. Baptized wrong. That's right. But I believe. Believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what before long, Hold that on. believer Amen. is going to come through speaking in tongues. They shall speak with new tongues. Many of us here Hallelujah. came out of some apostolic church. That's right. And many of you received the Holy Ghost there. Women preachers was there. That's right. They believed in remarriage and divorce. That's right. Some had three gods. That's right. But I believe in believe. the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. And these signs shall follow these them. These signs. Yes. Amen. Shall follow them that believe. Them. He didn't say just them and the truth. No. You got it wrong. That's right. It said them that believe. Them that believe. And if you think the uh, only person that believes yes. is one that is baptized, you got people that believe that never heard of the baptism. That's true. Never heard of it. That's right. But they believe in the Holy Ghost. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Someone says that Bible? Yes. How then were you baptized? How then were you baptized? We were baptized under John baptism. John baptism. Paul said, John preached, you should believe on him that come after him. After him. And that is on Christ Jesus. Oh, right. and they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord oh, Jesus. Yes. Then the apostles laid hands on them right. and they received the Holy Ghost. They, the Holy Ghost. they believed. They believed. Look how willing they were ready to drop their form of beliefs. That's right. That's right. Now when you come into the knowledge of the truth of God, Hallelujah. you have to let your former belief when it's wrong go. That's right. Because it is stand in the way of your present development in God. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. These signs. These signs shall follow them that believe. They shall speak with new tongues. So the apostles traveled right. with water and fire. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. They travel, glory to God, with water yes. and fire. And fire. 
Many of you have the water. Where is your fire? How much and how great do you desire God's fire? That's right. What will I have to give up to receive the fire of the Lord? That's right. What will I have to lay aside to receive God's fire? Are you listening? Repenting of your sins, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, which is what every human under the sun must do. But when you preach the new birth, the term new birth, being born again, born again, that does not just consist of water. No. That consists of water and, and spirit. spirit. And spirit. Like in the woman, mm -hmm. the water break and the child come out with fire. Did you hear me? That's right. The water breaks, but the child come out with fire. But that which keepeth and is kept. Here, here it is now. Now in the book of 2nd Esther chapter 8 and we're at verse 9. What is it? But that which keepeth and is kept shall both be preserved. Shall both be preserved. And when the time cometh. When the time comes. The womb preserved delivereth up the things that grew in it. The womb. <laughs> That's right. I love the scriptures. Hallelujah. Everything is in there. That's right. The womb delivers up. The womb preserved delivers preserve up the things. And deliver up spell the things. T-H-I-N-G-S. It don't put out one thing. No, no. Things. See, within you is fire and water. That's right. Now, in the natural, fire and water is different. That's right. Not in the spirit. No. Now, I'm not talking about baptism and like that. No. I'm talking about God. God. God is living water. Living water. And God is the Holy Ghost. That's right. In the natural, water put out fire. And yeah. the spirit, water is fire. Is fire, that's right. When they were filled on the day of Pentecost, and the Russian mighty wind came, and they were filled yeah. with the Holy Ghost, they began to speak in tongue. Right. John called the Holy Ghost fire. That's right. But there's a word in the second chapter of Acts that's applied to water. water. Filled. Filled. That's right. That's right. Filled. Jesus declared living water. Living water. And then the Bible tells us, you better give me li living water living and water. then give me John the Baptist baptism about mm -hmm. one coming after I and let's connect it together and show you it's the same thing. In the book of St. Are you listening? Amen. Listen at this. Book of St. John, chapter 7 and verse 38. I'm talking about God now. That's right. All right. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said. Oh, we're back to belief again. <laughs> That's right. Not just witnessing, believing. Believing. And you got to believe and thank God from all your heart. That's right. He that believeth on me, as the scripture says. Out of his belly. Where? Out of his belly. Amen. Amen. You women out there that ever been pregnant? Hmm. A child get a certain size, sometimes a woman fill it. That's right. She'll tell her husband, look, put your hand here. That's right. And her belly start protruding. Mm -hmm. She want to feel that baby move. Oh, yeah. If the baby don't move, the woman begin to be concerned. That's right. Because she wants to know, is life still going on in here? That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You want to be concerned yeah. if the fire, the Holy Ghost, is not in you. Amen. Because there's no inner movement. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Brother. Wonderful. And the body without the spirit is, is dead. dead. 
If a woman is pregnant and the child don't have life, she's a carrier of a dead child. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So then, if I don't have the spirit of God mm -hmm. and still living a sinful life, That's right. I go to church, but there's no movement. No movement. So therefore, the church, the body, I'm one that's in the building, but there's no protruding there. That's right. That's right. If one look at me, I'm there amongst the body. Notice my language. I'm among the body, but I'm not in the body. That's right. So therefore, among the body, my hand is not pushing up, my feet is not moving. There's nothing rotating there. You see, the Holy Ghost make you rotate. Oh, yes. Holy Ghost is a spirit of momentum. Momentum. A child in the womb don't stay in one position when it's alive. No. It rotates. That's right. Thank God because there's a potter, potter. that's forming pottery. That's right. And to properly form pottery, there must be constant rotation yeah. on the wheel. That's right. So God Almighty is the potter yeah. and you are the clay. That's right. And what can the clay say to the potter? Nothing. Nothing. You have to subject yourself and be formed. That's it. So while you rotate among the righteous and among the holy, you want God to give you a new mind. New mind. Rotate, That's give right. me a new heart. That's right. The creator of pottery is working a wonder on the wheel. Ask God to work a wonder in you. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Buckle down. That's right. And sing God. Don't let nobody tell you they heard you speak. That's right. You have to know it for self. That's right. Because the Holy Ghost is between Father and Son, Father and Daughter, That's God right. and that brother, God and that sister. Amen. That's God stepping in you. Amen. And then He proves Himself that He's in there by springing up. Oh, yes. Yeah and giving you a language that you never spoke before. That's right. What is that? The wonderful works of God. The works of God. Are you listening? Amen.